to do is start in a quadruped and we're gonna do hip cars. And we're gonna do our knee cars and our ankle cars and we're gonna just warm up just like that. Nice and easy. And you know what? Yeah, let's keep it like that. Sideline. Yeah, let's do sideline instead. So this is a little more gentle, but it's able you're able to block the hips out a little easier. So whoa, we're gonna drag it straight up. How can I get it here? You can see me drag it straight up, bring it open, internally rotate, kick back and down. Let me do it forward just a tad here because I got my bench in the back. Drag up, open, internally rotate, kick back and land that knee right beside the opposite knee. Perfect. There's two. Whoa open and down and I like the sideline position because it blocks everything else out and you can see me like leaning forward and cheating as I talk let's just do five because you know what it feels fantastic Rock, get that internal rotation you're blocking everything out you can bend this back knee also that'll give you a little bit more base Rock. nice and easy one more time here we go open 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 internal rotate Rock. kick back Around and down. All right, switching on over to the other side. So, hope you can hear me okay. I do not have my headphones today because they're out of the night stay charging. Lots of uh, lots of use they do uh, there, right? So, little bend here. If you want to add a little wider base, draw that knee up. AB duct, internally rotate, extension. This bench is just all up in my way today. Extension and then park. We go back to it. Extension. Uh, externally rotate and right back down. Drag that leg up. AB duct internally rotate. Hello. Uh, that's two. Down. Internally rotate. And that's three. Two more. Because things are just feeling amazing today. All right. So here's what we got on the menu. One more time. We've got some kneeling hip flexor stretch. Then we're gonna just park. We're gonna park on this bench behind me. You might wanna think about getting some dowels um, or, or brooms or whatever. Um, I like to I like to use dowels because, let me move this a little bit closer, because, uh, well, you're not getting shit from the brooms on your, on your uh, head when you're doing Hales Rails. Um, we've got, uh, um, we got to get through some knee cars and then we're going to worry about our kneeling hip flexor stretch and then I think we're going to go to a little 90-90 after that. So you can do this on your bench if you want. Internally rotate flexion, externally rotate extension. Just go through that knee car to show you a few different ways to do it. Usually we do this on the ground, but since I want to show you a few different ways, we're going to do it on the bench today. All right, once you do it, I've got three of those. Let's circle that ankle big a circle as you can without actually moving the shin you can lock the shin out however you like three to five each direction i'm feeling pretty good today so i'm just going to do three and let's go knees so externally i'm sorry internally rotate heel to hip externally rotate and extension internally rotate heel to hip externally rotate extension internal heel to hip external extension now i want you to keep it externally rotated and then bring heel to hip then internally rotate and extend externally rotate flexion internal and extend external flexion one more time internal extend external flexion and hey that means done for now now let's just hug this bad boy up and i want you to big circles big circles big circles Three to five each direction. This is my janky size. You can see it kind of skipping around. Uh, yeah. Perfect. Okay, where are my dowels? Here they are. <clears throat> I'm going to start on my right leg. So right leg is going to be down on this mat. I do have two mats set up here. Um, I'm going to change this. Uh, ah, this angle will be fine. So I've got my foot up on the bench and now we start our passive stretch and i might move around just a little bit so you can see different angles but this is a pretty we do this stretch a lot um, because it is so amazing on uh for the hip flexors um go ahead and hop in position please and we're going to start this this timer 
for two minutes. Um, and what I want you to do is, yeah, I'm gonna move over this way just a tad so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm cheating out towards the camera a bit. I've got my foot in the back up on the bench. I've got my knee is relatively close to the bench. And then I've got my hips tucked underneath. My tailbone is not pointing out back, so it's pitching me forward. My tailbone is tucked underneath, so I've got a nice big stretch right here on this quadricep. Okie dokie, okie dokie, good stuff. So now we play the waiting game. We play the scanning game, the searching. I'm looking, oh, shifting, looking for a little bit of uh, new tension, right? Like there's an angle right there when I lean out here. So I'm gonna leave it here for a second. <clears throat> and I'm gonna breathe. And we're looking for the end of that two minutes um, uh, to get to the uh, the end of that the two minute time period to get to the, the point where our muscle spindles, Golgi tendon, Olga GM, you say that a lot, um, say that it's okay to pop, uh, to operate in, in this length tension uh, relationship. So when you sit down, quadriceps shorten up again. This is what I, I say all the time. I know I'm just gonna keep saying it until we get it. Um, quadriceps shorten and they become shortened for good basically and then when you stand up your uh your hips are pulled forward and your low back is compressed and that's why your back hurts so taking the time to do this shit right here is what's going to make all the difference in the world okay so we're coming up on that two minute time period i'm going to move over here just a tad so you can uh see what's going on here and our progressive angle is going to be driving that foot down into the bench okay we love this one we, we do it a lot um, and that's why, because it's so freaking effective. Our regressive angle is gonna be trying to pull this right foot heel back to our hip, okay? And we're gonna build that tension a percentage at a time, like a, it's gonna grow like a volume knob being turned up. We're not gonna go zero to 100 real quick. We're gonna go 20%, 40% as we like to do, okay? So here we go, set number one. Grab that air, pack it down. Irradiate, see this foot in the back? And back the air down, everything's encased in concrete. 20% of your power driving into that bench. 40% of your power into the bench. Ramp it up to 60%, driving that foot into the bench behind me. Ramp it up to 80%. My bi everything's on here my biceps, my triceps, I, I, everything, my whole body. I'm scraping this left foot back. This left foot back towards my hips, 80% of your power. Same as greatest effort, 100% of your power for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now rail it, heel to the hip. Squeeze your heel to your hip as hard as you can. Make it cramp. It's fine if it cramps. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your butt for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax into that new position. Now, new position might be a millimeter more. It might be a lot more than a millimeter. Whatever it is, explore and populate that new space. All righty? All righty, good stuff. I want you to take three big deep breaths before we start round number two. Let the body know it's okay to exist here. Excellent. Round number two, here we go. Grab that air, pack it down, and irradiate. 40% of your power pushing into that bench. 40%. Driving in with your dowel, scraping back with your foot. Left foot, that is. Driving in 60% of your power into that bench. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Right foot up to 80% of your power. Save greatest effort. 100% of your power. 10, 9. Push that foot in. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'll rail it. Heel to the hip for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Ooh, got some cramping going on. Breathe and exist. Breathe and exist. Maybe you shift back just a little bit. There's a lot of micro adjustments that you can make when you're in this position that create a ton of difference within the body. Okay, so make that adjustment and always work at the end of your range. Big breath in and two more of those. Upregulating parasympathetic tone. That's the chill, the fill, not fight or flight. One more time. 
<coughs> okay, last set, fast set. Here we go. Grab that air packet down and radiate. 20% of your power into that bench. Pushing that right foot into the bench. 60%. Jump from 60 to skip 40 percent. Let's go to 60 percent now. Ramp it up to 80 percent. Safest greatest effort 100 percent for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now rail it 100 percent of your power. Bring the heel to the hip for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax and breathe. That leg is almost done. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and use your dowels. Push down, push down, and oh, stand it up nice and easy. Hello. Good. Now we're going to take a little walk. Maybe you just want to march in place. I'm not going to leave you here, but gentle at gentle pressure back to that leg back to that heel pushing pressure up through the knee up through the hip and let's go for a standing hip car so what that's going to look like the same mechanics as when we were lying down but i'm already standing up so you might as well get to know this movement as well okay so i'm irradiating i'm going to bring this right leg into slight hip flexion just so i can clear this this um, stance leg uh, my left foot and then, then I'm going to externally rotate and bring the leg across the midline of the body, draw the knee straight up, AB duct around, internally rotate, and kick it back. I'm not pitching forward. I'm kicking back into extension from my hip, and I'm parking that knee next to the stance leg. Okay, kick straight back into extension, AB duct open up. Oh, I cheated with the hips a little bit. You don't want to rotate on the stance leg. You want to squeeze all of your glutes to keep the hips from opening up. There's two, and what I mean by that is we tend to abduct here, and then we go, ho, 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 look how much range I have, but I'm actually just rotating from this part of the pelvis, not that part of the pelvis. So uh, I can be easy to cheat on that one. One more half rep, and boom, there we go. All right, so let's take our left knee, left foot, put it up on that bench, get into position now we're gonna work our left quadricep and full hip knee complex that's what I love about this particular movement is because uh, uh, it addresses some of the main players in the desk posture that just kills your back it kills your lumbo pelvic hip complex big buzzword there um, so as we approach this angle, uh, we're scanning for new, new bits of tension. We're scanning for areas that need our attention. Uh, and we're going to give it that attention so that you can move and jump and play and keep up with your kids or play your sport or crush your enemies, whatever it is you do. Um, so you can do that better. And you can, one of the main things I love about a movement practice that is as focused as this is, um, is that I'm confident in moving in my body, right? Like, like when I squat down, I know that my knee is going to work well. I know that my hip or back is going to hold up when I'm, you know, lifting something heavy or whatever. Um, so that's that's one thing that I really really love about taking the time to do all this stuff. And that is one minute and fifteen seconds. So I'm not going to stop talking. You know that, um, but. When we get to that two minute mark, then we start to pales effort, okay? So we've got, <coughs> uh, again, the progressive angle is pushing the foot into the bench, right? Pushing the foot into bench, and the heel to hip is the regressive angle. Uh, so I'm gonna shift, I'm feeling some tension there, high. So do another thing that's important, do what feels good. Right? So, if your body's like, hey, this angle feels good, then work at that angle. That's totally fine. Totally cool. Um, here we go. All right, you ready? Yes, good. First set of pails and rails. Here we go. Grab that air, pack it down. Irradiate. And 
20% of your power into the bench. Squeezing everything here. Everything's on, but you're really focusing on pushing that foot into the bench right back there. Ramp it up to 40% of your power. Ramp it up to 60% of your power. 80%. Safest, greatest effort, 100% for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now rail it, heel to the hip. Squeeze those glutes as hard as you can for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax and breathe. Relax and breathe. 5, 4, <coughs> for 3. Yeah. For 2. One, let's start that second set. Deep breath in and grab the air pack down. Radiate 20% of your power. Into that bench, 40% of your power. 60% of your power. Ramp it up to 80%. Safest, greatest effort, 100% of your power, pushing into that bench for 10, 9, um, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now rail it, heel to the hip, squeeze as hard as you can for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax and breathe, two sets down, doing just fine. What's our time? Just breathe. <sighs> just breathe. Experience this new space. Everything's going to be okay. It should be controllably uncomfortable. I don't want you pushing through pain. Tolerably uncomfortable. Um, don't be a tough guy or girl. If there is an obscene amount of pain, then back out. Okay, your body. You, you know what kind of pain doesn't feel good. Um, but that controlled discomfort of a deep, deep stretch. That's what we're looking for. Okay, last set. Here we go. Grab that air, pack it down, and radiate. Squeeze the dowels. Squeeze the foot into the floor. Everything's on. 20% of your power. Pushing into that bench. 40% of your power. 60%. 80%. Safest, greatest effort. 100% for 10 Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now rail it. Heel to the hip for ten. Nine. Squeeze it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax and breathe. And those are done. Just don't come out of it just yet. Whew, hard part's over with that one. We're gonna stand up in just a few minutes, a few moments, minutes, and then we are going to hit a standing hip bar, and then we're going to take it down to a 90-90 on the floor. Okay? All right. So here we go. Three, two, one, and pushing out. Oh, gently load that leg. Nice and easy. I'll do about 10 kind of stutter steps. One, two, three. Turn everything on. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Feeling good. Okay. Let's go through that standing hip car. <clears throat> Grab the air pack, it down, radiate. I'm really squeezing my right glute here. That's my anchor point. The movement point is here. Everything's in concrete. Ripping in, flex hips, externally rotate. Bring it across the midline of the body, drive it straight up. Open, open, internally rotate, and extension and park it. Bring it back around, and down. There's one. Up, open, internal, and down. There's two. And biggest circle possible. Ugh. And there's three. Fantastic. All right. Coffee break. Put these dowels right here. And coffee's never, never, never too far away. Oh, let's get it to a 90-90. Right in here. That's a pretty good angle. Let's bring this camera down just a tad. Since we're not working up high anymore. There we go. All right. So we've got this 90-90. And if that's too much for you, you can tuck something under this pelvis. You can bring the back leg back a little bit. A bit. You can bring the front leg back a little bit. As long as we are rotated and we're working this front front pelvis here, now, front uh, hip. 
excuse me, nice and tall. Rotate, wind up that tissue, and then hinge over. Ah, there's a nice hip stretch right there. So we're gonna stay here. We're gonna stay here for just about a minute. And what I'm gonna ask you to do is we're gonna do some lifting, we're gonna do some blocking today. So what I wanna do is uh, you just search out. I feel pretty, like I've got a pretty good stretch right in here. Turn this around so I can see you a little bit better. There we go, hi. Um, I've got a pretty good stretch right in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I like to do liftoffs um, as, as you know, but I also like to do uh, pails rails into the mat. So we're gonna start with some pails rails, um, which is kind of a lift off also with the rail. Um, and then we're going to, we're gonna block our own leg and we're gonna try to push our arm this way and we're gonna try to pull our knee that way. And we're just gonna isometrically contract that it, uh, this, this hip here. Don't worry about that right now. I'll walk you through it when we get to it. Uh, but that's just, that's what's coming. All righty, all righty. Oh, a little spinal stretch there, some cracks. All right, so here we go. We got some pails rails coming up in about 35 seconds. Oh, I forgot to get coffee. But first, coffee. You know what I like to do? I like to, um, like when I'm sitting right here, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, like, I'm not doing anything with this shoulder. So maybe I'll try to get a car in uh, while, uh, while I'm waiting for this hip to chill out, literally, you know, relax itself. Uh, so maybe I'm pushing down here to get a little bit more while I work my car and I'm just isolating uh, right there. Two more. And see, I'm, kind of, I'm going fast. This, is, this isn't like, uh, this isn't train like a training speed. I'm not going as slow as possible. I'm just trying to open my shoulders up because we're not giving our shoulders much attention today. So uh, this is one of the one times uh, that we can cheat out and wait for this guy to work while we work that one. All right, so here we go. So you're right. My end range is right here. My, my passive end range, I'm sorry, my active end, end range is right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna operate from this position and I'm gonna try to carve out more space in that hip. Now today, what we're gonna be doing is working superficial muscles. So we're pushing straight straight down. We're not ice cream scooping in. We're not doing this external rotation. We're doing this straight down, okay? So here we go. We're gonna grab the air, pack it down, use your kickstands if you need, and I want you to irradiate. I'm squeezing everything I can think of to squeeze. Push those hips down, both hips, both knees. I should say shins, everything. Squeeze. Get hot. Bring this off. Shout out to Battle Frog. If you all know it, then you know it. If you don't, then rest in peace, Battle Frog, we'll say. All right, grab that air, pack it down, irradiate, and. 20% of your power, pushing down into that floor. And remember, you're leaning forward at the end of your active range. Ramp it up to 40% of your power. The reason we lean forward is so that we can't lift our leg up off the ground much at all. 60% of your power, driving straight in through the knee and the hip. I want you to push through to the ground, into the ground. 80% of your power. Big breath in and save as greatest effort, 100% of your power for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, do not move up top. I want you to try to uh, lift as best you can off the ground. It's not going to happen. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax. Get God. That is awful. Hard as shit. Um, so, that's one. But you are doing just fine. Nice and easy. One more big breath. And here we go. Set number two. Remember, you're at the end of your range. Not up here hanging out, chilling. But you're at the end of your range down here. Grab that air packet down and radiate pushing hips, knees, feet in. Everything's on. You're flexing, flexing, flexing. You don't use your kickstands. Gabe will grip it up like this. Oh, tight and 20% of your power down into the ground. It's going to be harder without kickstands. 40% of your power pushing in. 60% of your power. 80% of your power. Safest, greatest effort, 100% for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and reel it. 
try to lift. I'm gonna use my kickstands because it's easier for me to get some action here. Activation here, three, two, one, and relax. Woo, that's hard. That's a deep still. Oh, lean it forward, lean it forward, lean it forward for five, four. How do you feel? How's your low back feel? My low back is stretching out significantly. Three, uh, two, one, last set, best set. Ready? All right, here we go. Grab that air, pack it down. I like I like this when I'm paling, when I'm pushing in. So let's grab that air, pack it down, and irradiate 20% of your power at the ground. 40%. 60%, 80%, safest, greatest effort, 100% for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, really, pull the foot to your face for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax, oh, yeah, that is just something right there, find that new range, that new normal, hips are forward, I'm sorry, hips are back, chest is forward. Lean forward from your belly button for five, four, three, two, one. And good. Now I want you to lean back and open up that hip. Give it some space to breathe. Whoo, yeah, buddy. Now, what I want you to do, I didn't say this before, but we're going to do uh, five passive lifts. It's not going to be end range, but I want you to uh, be pretty comfortable with this one because I want to I lift it up pretty high and get as much tissue uh, response as I can. So, three, two, one. And, Lift and down and lift and down. Three more and lift and down. Two more and lift and down. One more and five, four, three, two, one and down. Yeah. Now here comes that fun isometric ramping from this position. I want you to block here and I want you to block here. You can have your hand right there if you want. And know what you're gonna do is you're going to ramp up. You're gonna drive your foot into this forearm right here, okay? Uh, and then when I tell you to, you're going to rail against this this, for, this forearm back here. So here we go. Grab that air packet down and irradiate and 20% of your power. Push that foot into your forearm. 40%, 60%. 80%, safest, greatest effort, 100 for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, really trying to get that knee past the foot, uh, hand here. It's not going to happen, but do your best. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Yeah, we got one more of those bad boys. Whew, a lot going on there, right? So we've got this foot in a stable, this leg in this, this position where you're the leverage is you're not going to win but we're we're carving out more space from the bone this femur is like wiggling more space out of your hip as we push downstream here okay next set here we go grab that air packet down and <laughs> radiate 20 percent of your power pushing into that forearm don't forget to push with your toes too 40 <sighs> percent ramp it up 60 percent 80 percent Safest, greatest effort, 100% for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Really? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Whoo, yeah, buddy. You know what we did? That felt really good, so we're going to do that again. Let's do one more of those. We've come, we've come this far. We might as well. Ready? Grab that air, pack it down, and radiate. 20% of your power into that forearm, 60%, 80%, safest, greatest effort, 100% for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now really bring that hip back towards your forearm, pull, 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 knee back to the forearm, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax, holy smoking Betty's. oh yeah, hi there, hello. Hello. Let's go through a quick hip car. Oh, I'm gonna lay down because oh, my hips are like nervous system is just firing up right now. So oh, same lazy hip car as before. Get out of your bench. We don't need anymore. Oh, there we go. Into extension. Draw it up. Open. Internally rotate. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Last one there. Pop. 
parfait. The right other side. Right leg's in front this time. Whatever you didn't just do, that's fine. Move this over just a tad. Right. Yeah, how are we doing on time? We're doing great. Doing great. It's a little longer than 30 minutes, but you gotta go, you gotta go. That's fine. You're just gonna be walking in little circles all day long. All right, so now we play the waiting game, right? You've got 90-90 going. If you can't sit down flat, it's not the end of the world. Just bring this leg back a little bit, and you'll be able to sit back a little farther. My hips are pretty tight today, so um, I'm not going to be sitting back too much. Oh, my weeks are tight too. Whew, so rotate, find that stretch. Mine is oh, right about there. I need some small coffee. All right. Cheers. Mm. Scan that stretch. Focus on your breath. Nice and easy. at a minute. No, we're not. We're at 45 seconds. Some of these minutes take longer than others. That's okay, though. Ah. Just breathe, scan. You know what you're doing at this point. It's not a new thing. Oh. Oh, my right side's always tighter than my left side, too. Mm. Okay, just past a minute, stupid Apple Watch feature that has the numerals disappearing. Very inconvenient when you're holding planks or doing pull-ups or something like that. It's just like, okay, why are, why are we doing this, guys? Um, because I can't see five of the digits out of the six. I'm sorry, four out of the, four out of the six. Um, so I have to tap it and stop what I'm doing. you got the 25 seconds left and we'll get, get onto our pails rails, okay? Okay. <coughs> Fifteen seconds. Yeah. Oh, I forgot my cars. That's what we were doing last time. Let's get three of these real quick. What could we be doing? There's a time and a place to multitask. Sometimes this is it. Sometimes it's not. Uh, I think I said three, but this was pretty good. It's my janky shoulder. So we're going to keep it, keep it going. All right, here we go. So let's grab that air packet down and radiate. Find that in range. Here we go. Perfect. 20% of your power into that ground. 40%. And we're pushing in with both shins, right? This is the working canvas here, but we've got the whole body on. 60%. Ramp it up 80%. Safest, greatest effort 100% for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now rail it. Bring it up for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax nice and easy into that, into that new range that you've got. <coughs> Big breath in. One more time. I'm going back to holding hands. And here we go. Grab that air, pack it down. Radiate. 20%. Fit into the ground. 40%. 60%. 80%. Safest, greatest effort. 100% for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now rail it. Try to lift that foot up to the face. Shit up to the face for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And uh, bring it down. Bring it down to the mat. Nice and easy. <sighs> yeah. 5, 4, Three, if you get caught in there, whatever you can, right? Two, 
one, and you're gonna do a last set, best set. Maybe you're doing seat belt, maybe you're doing gable grip, maybe you're doing whatever this is, but whatever. Make it up at 20% of your power into the ground. 40%. Sixty percent, eighty percent. Safest greatest to separate one hundred percent for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now rail it. Ooh, try to lift that foot up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Very nice. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Nice easy breath. Breathe. Two, one. All right, lean it back and let's do a lift off here. Use your kickstands if you want. It's gonna be easier back here. It's gonna be a little more challenging up here. And bring it up. Oh, three, two, one, and down. Lift up. Down. And lift up. Down. And up. Lift up. And down. Uh, that's only three. Up. And down, one more, and up, and down, perfect. All right, now we're gonna bring it down to the mat. You can use hands if you can't get down all the way, that's fine. I like my forearms because it gives me a better stretch. That's just where we are. Grab the air packet down, and radiate, and let's push that foot into your forearm, 20%, 40%, squeezing everything, 60%. 80%. Safest greatest effort 100% for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rail it. Bring it back. And knee to the forearm for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax. Beautiful work. Got the breath. Second set. Grab the air, pack it down, and radiate. And 20% of your power into that forearm. Some sirens going in the background. No big deal. I know we're doing 40% of your power. 60%. 80%. Safest way to set for 100% for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Really? Knee to elbow, knee to whatever that is. Forearm for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax. You got one more set here. Alrighty, grab that air, pack it down, <sighs> radiate, 20% of your power into that forearm, 60%, 80%, safest greatest to separate 100% for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, rail it, and he goes back to the opposite forearm for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax and breathe for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah, quick hip car. You're out of here. Oh, so I'm gonna lay down this way. So hopefully there's a bench back there. Of course there's a bench back there. Rah. So between a pane of glass in the front, in the back, draw it up. Externally rotate, internally rotate, kick back to extension, park it. Extension, bring it around and down and up. Open internal da, 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 da. And down. Perfect. Uh, yes, and that is your final hip car of the day. With me at least. Maybe you're gonna do more. Maybe not. All right. Go have an awesome day. We'll see you next time on up. Peace.